Hello ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? It is your host, the one and only one Hennis. And today guys, I have some very exciting news for all of you regarding Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Now some of you guys may remember way back in the beginning of Call of Duty Black Ops 3 when it was first released, we got word from the Treyarch PC development team that there were going to be mod tools released sometime in the middle of 2016 that would allow people to create their own maps, their own game modes, their own weapons on the PC side of Call of Duty Black Ops 3. And we hadn't really heard anything since then up until two days ago on April 20th when Treyarch tweeted out and said, we're happy to share that our closed alpha has begun for our PC mod tools. More info here. So this is very exciting guys. Treyarch has confirmed that they have started rolling out the mod tools for a closed number of people in the Call of Duty PC modding community. So because it is a closed alpha as of right now, unfortunately it's not open to the public. So there are only a select few number of people in the PC modding community who have access to these mod tools as of right now. But this is very, very exciting that this is actually becoming and actually happening because you know Treyarch can only do so much in sort of keeping the game alive uh, but what's really going to drive Call of Duty Black Ops 3 players to want to play the game more is for these community driven maps. I mean there are still custom maps and custom game modes being made and being played on for Call of Duty World at War and think about how old that game is. So for Treyarch to finally implement these mod tools here and to finally start working towards making them available to the general public is very very exciting. Now the link that goes along with this tweet for some reason when I click on it, it doesn't actually bring me to a website. It says the server cannot be found. But from with the other videos that I've seen on YouTube and from other YouTubers, it seems as though this closed alpha is going to last for possibly a couple months. And then after then, they are going to make it an open beta, which is going to be very, very exciting. And that's what I'm truly excited for, because then anyone who has Call of Duty Black Ops 3 on the PC is going to have access to these mod tools. So that's very, very exciting. Now, I actually found some previews of the Call of Duty Black Ops 3 mod tools from Treyarch on MappersUnited.com. And I'm going to put some of those images images on screen now. Now personally, I don't really know what any of this means, but some of you guys who may be more familiar with the PC Call of Duty modding community may understand some of what these programs are trying to allow us to do and may be able to give me some insight down there in the comment section below. So if you guys understand any of what's being shown on screen now, be sure to share it down there in the comment section below or tweet it at me, post it on my Facebook, Snapchat me or whatever. But anyways guys, really hope you all did enjoy this video and I really hope you guys are excited for the PC mod tools. I am extremely excited for them because it's one of the very few things that us PC players actually have that the console players don't. And obviously that makes me very excited because of course, as you guys know, I am a PC player. But anyways, guys, really hope you all did enjoy this video. Smack that like button if you did. Let's shoot for 80 likes on this video. And be sure to subscribe to my channel if you guys are new. I'm going to keep you guys up to date with totally awesome Call of Duty Black Ops 3 content throughout the rest of its life cycle and continue as we lead up to the 2016 Call of Duty. And if you guys did go ahead and watch this entire video, you're still watching at this point, go ahead and comment down below, hashtag mod tools. That'll let me know that you guys watched this entire video. And anyways, guys, thank you all so very much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Until next time, everybody, keep gaming, and as always, stay cool. Adios.